Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. We're going to run through a couple of simple nodes in the Deadpool's Daily Quest with the Big Enchilada featuring our Beta Ray Bill. We've only got five covers on him, uh, but he's already up to level 330 with that and 2,600, uh, 26,500 health. So he's fine and good to get around and play with. I think we'll, we'll uh, run through one of the um, the easier nodes here with two star bullseye for fun because he'll be making protectiles anytime either team matches purple and we'll just bring along Bagman for fun. So we'll run through this node, then we're gonna go through and play worthy Captain America in the behemoth burrito node and try to get the most out of his abilities play him as he's intended instead of using like five star Hawkeye with him or or the such that you see a lot out there and then we're going to do the taco vault it's the last day of the taco vault for I've got a hundred plus tokens after we clear these nodes out and we're going to try to get spider ham or worthy cap from the taco vault so let's jump into it and we have a bunch of other tokens to pull too try to uh, run through that as quickly as possible and get into this action. Let's go. All right, so Beta Ray Bill's got some pretty good abilities in that um, his blue ability creates protectiles. Protectiles on the board do their thing, but if they are matched away by our team or the other team, we earn one blue and one green AP for that. That's excellent. So what, and he's also got a multi-hit combo in his green ability. It costs 12, but if we plan it out right, it's going to do a pretty, uh, pretty good job in this uh, multi-wave battle. Let's start with this extra move here. Oh man, his match damage is pretty big. I hope we don't blow through this faster than I had intended. I guess we'll see. To try to get some green, we'll get the blue to go with it. Alright, so normally I would do this black move that would drop a match four in yellow, but um, for sake of this match, I really don't want it to get over that quickly, so let's try to build up some blue and green from other color matches. Alright, working as planned so far, we have... Bill's blue to play. Let's save it for just, well, let's see we save it or let's hit this guy with it. Crash, uh, Clash of the Worthy. Direct damage plus creates a projectile every turn. Go back until we knock this guy out. There's a purple match right here lined up where we'll get a bunch of blue and green if we match it or the other team does. There they go. So look at that. We're already up to six blue again and uh, a bunch of green so far. So let's see. Let's go ahead and take a shot on Spidey there with another countdown. Nice that you can have more than one out at a time so they'll both be doing their thing. Tiles everywhere. Let's look back at Bill. So the blue is about 2100 damage. The green is multiple hits of 2300. So if all of our enemies are down to that point, hopefully we can take them all out with multiple hits. Tech tiles everywhere. We should go up to 12 green. 
Oh, wait, no, just 11. Okay, so that means we need to get another match here. This way sounds good. I'm taking very little damage, of course. Uh-oh, here comes the squirrels. Now we're in big trouble. Okay, everybody has about 2,300 health remaining or less than that. Let's go ahead and play Scuttlebutt. It's going to do three random damage hits. Very cool. Let's see if we can get that green to go again. I don't know that we're going to, but there are protectiles all over the place. Nope, I think we're going to win with match damage before we get to that point. We're up to 11 green. Oh, look at that. They gave us the... 12th green we needed. For the win. Hey, I like it. That was pretty fun. Got through with very little damage. And the multiple hit combinations worked really well. Get the three-star Captain America for our efforts there. And now we can go and into the Behemoth Burrito, play with worthy Captain America and we'll try to get the most out of his red that feeds into his blue ability and if we're lucky we'll get his yellow passive ability triggered if uh, he or one of his teammates is about to take enough damage so let's do this let's keep the high health enemy for last quick look at Cap's abilities. Uh, let's start with yellow. So if he, if an, if a, a teammate would take what 14 or 1500 or more damage, he will jump in the front, reduce the damage, and if he then takes uh, nearly 1100 in damage from either an ability or big time match damage, then he will create four countdowns, replacing yellow tiles with countdowns that put blue and red on the board. That's pretty cool. And then his red ability only costs six. It's a countdown that creates charge tiles every turn. When it expires, it does a little bit of damage. And then his blue ability is just really pretty awesome. Heavy hitter is a, a stun ability for three turns, but it also does multiple hits of damage for every charge tile that's on the board. So you can get some really big hits out of this. Let's try to get blue and red built up. The earlier you get red going, I think the better. Extra move. It's a nice critical match on red, so we need one more red tile. was uh, a bunch of damage but not enough to trigger his passive need a red here we go surgical strike was enough to trigger that damage and this should add a lot of red and blue to the board automatic matches all over the place that's what worthy cap is really awesome at. Let's go ahead and play the wind-up. So while that is on the board, he's going to create charge tiles every turn. We're going to be able to play another one. So we'll get a lot more charge tiles going. I have this red at level 3. Some people run it higher than that. I think the damage that you get from it at the end when it expires isn't that big a deal. Getting the charge tiles on the board is great. And 
and there's the damage at the end. Okay, so now that we have um, just one more turn with those, let's go ahead with the heavy hitter. We'll take on uh, take it right to Moonstone. All the way out. So actually, that actually could have been planned a little bit better because um, she we didn't get to take make any use out of that stun. I think at this point we're going to win pretty easily. As long as we can take Wolverine out before he gets 11. Well, maybe we'll let him get his 11 black. He can fire his... Nope, he didn't take black. I was hoping he'd play that big hitting ability once again. Too late. X-Force, I don't think he'll do enough damage. And that's it. Okay, good win with Hammer Cat. Let's get into the tokens. Get our last taco token there and two command points let's go so as you see here the quick jump over to the the sweet taco vault shows that we've got just over 100 tokens for this vault and it ends tonight and i thought you know what i better just get in it we've got a, a worthy captain american here we've got a peter porker in here and of course there's always the legendary token and the thousand hero points are the top Items to draw, the highlighted three stars are the five characters that we played each day. So it's not bad to go for those covers as well as the random three stars and other rewards. All right, we're going to do as many draws as it takes until we're, we could exhaust all of them on the way to try to get Spider-Ham. If, um, if we get him early, we'll stop and not continue for Worthy Cap. If we get Cap, we'll continue to try to get Spider-Ham. Let's go, guys. I'll probably try to speed this up a little bit. And if you're watching this video and want to fast forward a little bit, we've got a bunch more tokens to draw, also including uh, like 13 Heroics and other tokens from the other events. And then we're going to add in our character levels, champion rewards after that. So here we go. Draw number 101. Place your guesses, guys. How many draws you think it's going to take to get that spider ham if we get him at all? No guarantee. Roughly a one-third chance to get him. Between a 50 and 67% chance we get one or the other four stars if we draw all 100 tokens. Kind of hard to do the math when you have a reducing sample like this. It's not always 1 in 300 each time. It's, hey, 250 hero points. I'll take it. Starts with 1 in 300, then every draw is a, is, is a smaller sample by 1 in 299, 1 in 298. So the odds are improving per item as you go, slightly. Let's get some three stars. All right, five health packs. That'll help. That definitely would have helped in the last Versus event, the Reunions. I did get first place out of 500 in the Reunions event. Mostly because, hey, there you go, three-star Bullseye. Good hit. Mostly because of my max champion Medusa. With over like 66,000 health or something is crazy. And I have a, a pretty high level four-star Gamora. Those two play well enough together. And then, along with those two, I played a mix of 5-star Thor, Hela, uh, Carnage, plays well with Medusa, of course. Uh, Lockjaw was fun, I played a little bit of Wiccan in that one, and I should have gotten a way to, uh, found a way to get some recordings in. But, uh, PvP for me is just like, gotta jump and go. Guys, look at that! I've been blazing on and on with, uh needless commentary and we hit the four star captain america worthy from the taco vault the viewer luck just does not disappoint we got one of the highlight items awesome claim it
Can you believe it? That was in the first 26 draws or so. And we have 70 plus more to go to get that spider ham. Can we get both of the highlight items? That would be amazing. Anyway, the reunions event had a you know limited roster, so you couldn't use some of your maybe your best characters or whatever. It just so happened mine. I was lucky to have the important characters to use, and it worked out. So for that finish, we got a couple of spider ham covers already from that PvP rewards to add in. Health packs are always good. Sorry, misclick. Trying to do the fast version where we uh, don't have to wait for the whole vault animation. Have you guys placed your guesses to see how many draws it might take? Hey, there was a 10 health pack to get that spider ham. No guarantees again. We might not get in. And if we don't, I'll still be pretty happy that we got that worthy Captain America anyway. Would like to get a couple more three stars. ISO doesn't help me as much anymore used to be one of the most most important things if you're not there yet you'll eventually get there once you champion most of your four star characters and then into the five stars psylocke good hit Come on, Spider Ham. Doing well on health packs. We could also be hitting more of those 250 hero point blocks. That'd be nice. Or that 1,000. Another Psylocke. Very good. Mystique. So we'll add in all of these rewards here in a little bit. Another Psylocke. Have we hit? Oh, yeah, we've, we've hit really well on her. So we have some four-star rewards. Oh, there we go. 250 hero points. Nice result there. Claim a Falcon. In the last video I did, we had a whole bunch of champion level rewards from... A list of five five star and four star characters about um over a hundred of them got the beast we're doing good on threes now but we're running out of time running out of tokens to go for peter porker come on guys i think we can do it generally save up taco tokens for quite a long time until there's some meaningful four star to go in to go for the crash of the titans character which is currently spider ham for this five day interval is always in this vault for every single person and then the other four star is completely randomized for every individual player 250 hero points nice so i had worthy cap in mind that's pretty lucky for sure and um, it could be anybody for any of you. Let me know in the comments who's in your, who was in your Peter Porker vault. Another 250. Nicely done. And look at that, guys. This effort was absolutely worth it. We had a one in three chance to hit those high, you know, each of those highlight items. And we got the legendary token from the taco vault. That's awesome claim it cool take a quick sc screenshot just in case can't get uh the spider ham in the last 12 draws but we're gonna try 
there's a three-star cap. I wondered if we were going to get one. Last ten tokens. Count them down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Oh, just ISO for the last one. Well, I'm not too upset about that, guys. We did absolutely great. Didn't get the spider ham, but the worthy cap, the, the LT, is is uh, obviously very good to have. And then did pretty well on the three stars generally. And um, hit a bunch of the hero points and more. So that is cool. Let's see. We'll save those tacos up for a rainy day for another good vault. All right. Thickest Thieves. Can we get another worthy cap here? Uh, there's also Miles, Miles Morales and Talos in this vault. And a three-star Spidey. Daily draw is just a two-star. Okay, moving on. Man, I'm really tempted. All right. Say out loud, should I draw? Should I do this Heroes for Hire purchase or not, guys? I was pretty much talked out of it. Okay, I'll do it. 3,600 hero points is pretty expensive. I don't need, really need this cover, but this is a limited character. You just can't get covers on him, uh, and except for like holidays or celebration stuff. We're going to do it. Plus, you know, we get a bunch more elites there. Maybe something will come out of that. Okay, and by the way, this uh, Heroes for Hire pack with those new characters, there are three good ones. That is a pretty sweet deal. You you get mighty tokens, you get one legendary, and uh, command points for you and your whole alliance gets command points and a thousand hero points. Um, not everybody can spend that thirty bucks during the holidays. I'm probably not going to do it, but it's not a bad deal for the math. All right, here's our last two reunions tokens. We got the first three in earlier. Just a couple of twos building up our shards. So Porson of Interest is the new versus event featuring Peter Porker. Good luck in that one. I do hope to get some recordings of his uh, uh, fun abilities real soon. Up to 70 latest legends. The uh, time frame could be as early as a week from Thursday. Today's Wednesday. So could be about a week away. Let's do these elites. We are up to 11. We'll just quick draw them. Got a Colossus. Star Lord. All right. All we got was two three stars out of 11 tokens. So, does that mean we're going to run pretty good in these heroics? We've got 13 tokens plus the daily draw. So, we've got about a 14 out of 16 chance at getting a, a four star who knows we ran pretty hot last time this is probably going to be all two stars in a row we've got a couple shards to claim three star thanos that's actually a good level for him storm Star Cyclops. We're running way too good on the threes, guys. I bet we don't get a four. Three Star Hulk. Let me know what you guys think about the update to the champion rewards for three stars. Now that a lot of three stars can um, be a feeder toward two different four stars instead of one single four star from the process and look at that as soon as i said we wouldn't get it 
the viewer luck comes through and we get a four star from a heroic one. Wait, three, two, one. And it's an Emma Frost. Actually, I don't mind that at all because I'm building her up to toward earning a Kitty Pride cover. That was on our last token. What is our daily draw going to do? Hey, it's gold and it's a Black Widow. Man, we did run pretty good in the heroics. That's great. We're saving up mighty tokens till we get about seven since the odds are one in seven of getting a four star. We'll build those up for quite a while. Let's go to the champion rewards and that is where we're gonna get basically done for the day. You know what? I'll do the two stars separately on my own here. Okay, we're just about done with the two stars. I paused it to, the, to do that so to speed up the video. But uh, there's a couple more with good results. So let's go to this area of the game where we can just go to the drop-down selector that shows you what characters actually have covers that can be applied. Scroll down to the back and check it out. Black Widow is at 142 and moving up earns a... Mighty token. There we go. So like we said, we're trying to work toward getting a few of those stocked up at once. Same thing for Cap. Gets another worthy uh, Mighty token. And let's see. I think that's it for those. We can level up Gracie Black Widow to 333. Nice build running on her so far and cap earns 25 shards toward worthy captain america very good I'm trying to decide which screen i like better this one seems to be a little bit more back and forth compared to the other screen. Let's just collect our shards. So we need to do that on Thor here. We'll level him up with the shards that we earned for pulling everything. And after that, let's go back here. We can select by the threes. It might be a little bit quicker this way. I can hit it and hit back and keep going. Bunch of command points for three-star Thanos. You see that he's at level 263, really close to max champ again. And it looks like we went up another shield rank. Yep, we hit 191. Awesome. Shield rank stops at level two, uh, level 200. You get ice, really nice big ISO 8 rewards along that progress i kind of wonder if they'll eventually increase it from 200 as more and more players ahead of me have hit it and now stalled out on shield rank it used to be way lower than 200 and they increased it before got uh, iceman shards coming from mystique pretty soon gotta build up those command points spent a whole bunch of Patch Wolverine has covers and shards ready to claim. And look at that. Get the Sabertooth shards from three-star Wolverine. Very cool. That's it for the threes. Let's go to the fours. Got a short list here. Emma hits 312. Got a few shards built up again. And let's go down to Captain America. Nice hit we got from that taco vault and he's almost at 290 to earn a legendary token and here we go spider ham these levels are good check it out it's up to 278 to 279 and now he gets to go from level 279 i knew this was the case that's pretty much what sold me into buying that package because he hits level 280 for that legendary token right before we need him 
uh, to be pretty strong for his versus event. I'm looking forward to this because this is the first time people have had him at reasonable levels last time. Some people had him, but a lot of us didn't, and he wasn't very usable before. So there you go. We got the spider ham leveled up, and that is it. I can't apply those Thor covers until I get more Okoye soon. All right, we're going to have to end it there. Thanks so much for watching. In the next video, I'm going to finally get caught up in the globe trotting, the event, that kind of the, the special that's featuring Mysterio and uh, some really cool matchups. That looks like it's going to be fun to take on different teams and we can earn more shards for Spider-Ham as we go along. So be looking for that. And separately, hopefully, we'll get a bunch of action in the portion of interest. Let me know in the comments if you're already in that event, how it's going, and if it's fun, and what teams you guys are using. Please hit the MPQ icon you see at the left side of the screen to become a subscriber if you're not already. Really appreciate the support. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.